Harry has got the nerve to go on a misinformation campaign. Is he serious? Like, do you not see what you and your wife are doing? It's hypocritical. It really is just... Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well today. How are you? So happy to be here with you. So what I'm talking about today, Harry and Meghan um, portrayal of royals is more noticeable now more than ever. We're really able to see how everything that most of us have seen in the very beginning, like we see it now, like they see it now. But we saw it from the very beginning, didn't we? Didn't we, y'all? We saw it. We were like, mm -mm, something wrong, something wrong here. And now other people are starting to like, wake up. Oh, wow. wow. She, she, she did that? Well, I, I, I just don't know why she would. Wow, I, I, just, I just, just couldn't imagine that she would want to do something like that. That's just, just unreasonable. And sometimes you don't want to see how people really are. You don't want to wake up to their deception you're a little blinded by the reality that you feel in your gut but you're like no mm -mm, i ain't gonna uh, i ain't gonna believe it but we have to recognize these things sometimes so let me go into this article their their absence from the royal family is really noticeable now like people are really starting to to, to look at the situation and say that they gone like they ain't ever coming back because <laughs> look at what they've done <laughs> people are like uh -huh, they better not come back <laughs> I know the people over in the UK be like, no, she better not come back over here. Mm -mm. Okay, so this is based on what a royal butler has said. And we know the butlers, they know everything. They see everything. They, they have got the 411 on the information inside the royal family. So the monarch is currently taking it easy after canceling all working visits until mid-November. Queen is taking a rest. And, and you know what? She's allowed to do that. She's um, been advised to stick to light desk duties, although she still will be doing her virtual vi visits, which is nothing more than, you know, sitting in front of a camera and having someone do your hair and makeup and speaking. So that's not as much work um, as it would be had she had to physically be there. But that's to be commended. Just doing that, getting up to be virtually present so several of her royal engagements have been canceled and it was revealed that she won't be attending the annual festival of remembrance now i talked about that in my royal update um we know that the queen has been recently spotted with a walking stick which is a sign that you know she's she's definitely showing her age more with that um i can only imagine mentally she's not as strong because of the wackadoos that we have out there right now in california montecito yes those wackadoos over there how they just be piling on the stress like what like using the titles when they're not supposed to but okay okay so meanwhile harry and megan are living in california with their two children if there are children we don't know because we still ain't seen lily like, where's Lily? Does she really exist? I'm starting to doubt things. I'm like, I just don't know. Former butler Paul Burrell, who worked for both the Queen and Princess Diana, says that Harry and Meghan could have been an incredible help to the firm. Incredible. Magnificent. To the point that I would talk about how wonderful their work is. How wonderful and great they are. Helping out the queen, being the support that she needs during this difficult time in her life. But no, nah, we're not doing that, are we? We got rogue royals on the loose. They are rogue. They are out on a mission to bring down as much of the royal firm as they can. Oh, but not the queen. They gonna say it's not the queen, but we know it's the queen too. But let's keep it going. He told Closer Magazine, we have seen recently that the Queen's family have rallied around her to support her and to take on more duties, right? So Kate and William have been thriving. Their work has been a huge support and relief to the Queen. They have really stepped up and, and done what people that have their kind of mindset would do. Because they're like, you know, we got to support the queen. And that's exactly what they're doing. So that is to be commended. 
So they've seen other family members step up and take on more engagements over the past few weeks as well. So Harry and Megan's absence from the firm really is more significant now because had they been there, had they stuck to the things that they had said that they were going to do, they would literally right now be providing a great service, a much needed service to the queen. But what are they doing instead, my friends? What is their choice of reason for them to do? To go out and illegally use the title to promote legislation within the United States of America. Essentially, that is what is happening. And this has the queen just stressed unbelievably because she knows this is wrong. We fought a war over this. So their portrayal of the royals is more noticeable now. So with everyone stepping up to support the queen, Harry and Meghan really could have been an incredible help, but they're not. They're in America. They should be here right now supporting Harry's elderly grandmother. How far away are they in the dilemma that they are faced with? They are not only denying themselves time with her, but denying their children, Archie and Lily, time with their great grandmother. Because we know these essentially are the last years of the queen's life. While we do hope that she lives many more several years, which she could, but she's, she's quite old now. So you would think there'd be a little bit more urgency more consideration to it that she could see the grandchildren and next week is also shaping up to be a busy one for the sausages the sausages the sausages the duke and duchesses of sausages <laughs> Harry will take part in a virtual discussion on tackling the internet lie machine hosted by Wire magazine and this is what I understand so Harry you want to talk about the lie machine when you got the biggest lie machine in your family like y'all are the biggest lie machine and I hate to be so raw in my standing but my goodness did you see the lies that came out that Oprah Winfrey interview and then you, Harry, are going to go speak about the lie machine? All while lying at the same time? Really? Really? I just can't believe it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's so, it's propaganda. It's, it's, it's like, you're really going to say things over and over and over and over again until people believe it. It's like, you you know, like when you speaking, you lying. And now you're going to start to talk about other people that are lying while you lying at the same time. Y'all got some goods to each his own, right? To each his own. The summit organizer said that the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex, misinformation experts for a session titled The Internet Lie Machine, which will examine what the real cost of a lie on the Internet is to ourselves, our communities, and our societies. Hmm. It's deep, y'all. It's, I mean, it is. It's real deep. So on Wednesday, he will also attend the inaugural Intrepid Valor Awards to service personnel, veterans, and their families. The ceremony takes place at the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum in New York. So all while the queen is doing the things that she would normally do, she's having her, her other family members take on those things. Harry and Megan are going to perpetuate their lies. Their lies! Because all the while while they're here in America, they think because they're in America, the things that they say can be truth they don't say it on UK soil <laughs> they think American soil is like the holy grail for just go out and do what you want to do y'all just say it like you want to see it just say it and it's the truth just say it it don't matter you know those people over in the UK all that stuff that happened like many many miles away the more miles between us and where all this stuff started, the more I can talk and do what I want to do because, hey, they just far away. We don't care. And they just going to do what they want to do. And you, you have to you have to look at this and think, wait a minute, what 
why are you why are we listening to you like the queen is sick why are you using your titles that don't mean nothing here i don't know what a duke and a duchess is what is it like what we what are we supposed to say and think are they supposed to be like well you know what that duke and duchess we got a duke and duchess here in america you know we happy we got us a duke and a duchess yes we we happy about that because you know what america we fought a war for that, but you know what? At some point, we got to start back all over again. We got to have us our own Duke and Duchess. No point. Like, what's what? What's your who you? Like, what's your agenda? Why are you here? Do you know the queen? The queen is sick. The queen has had to cancel engagements. The queen is having other family members take over to help her. But y'all want to come over here and perpetuate y'all dis disgusting manipulating lies here in america are we supposed to be happy are we supposed to be thrilled the duke and the duchess i just love the duke and the duchess i don't know what they do but i love them they's american yes it's american and i love them and whatever they say is the truth because they out there speaking out against people that's lying we've got to really embrace the duke and the duchess because this is what america is all about America is about embracing the rebel, the rebel rousers. It embraces those that want to come and pretend. America is the land of the free, the land to come frolic. You come over into America and just do whatever you want. Just take the things that don't belong to you in your country and come over here to America. We'll embrace you. We certainly will because we just love those people that tear down their own country. If you come from the United Kingdom, and the queen is giving you a title look at that title being just used over in the uk bring that title over here in america we'd be happy to have you use your title over here we just love it when people come over here and use their titles we don't know what it means but we just love it when they use them over here it just looks so cute when they say duke and duchess Yes, just makes it seem so official. We fought a war not to have to be under them, but we kind of want to do that again.